Hello everyone, I'll show you a movie poster design. I generated a photo by the Mid Journey AI and I will show you how to make the photo into movie poster. Actually, I'm just doing here. Uh, my job is done uh, like 40% uh, you know, done by the AI rest of the 60% I have done in a Photoshop so when you are mixing up with the AI and um, the Photoshop it will just save in your life and save in your time let's get started if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so I generated this photo and then i got this type of image uh, actually i got uh, lots of options uh, i choose these options because of uh, i thought that this one is the perfect for the movie poster okay that's fine and then press ctrl or command j i made a copy by using that or you can drag and drop in the plus sign that's good going to the selection tool and going to the object selection tool and selecting full object like that because of i want to place a photo behind this control command j for the copy and then i'll go to the and then place embedded so in this portion i already downloaded uh, the poster and um, which one i want to place in the background i'll download this one from the deviantart.com and uh, just downloading that i'll provide you the photo download link in my video description it will help you out to practice uh, at your home so copying this image and going to the photoshop and then paste this one control command v underneath of this photo well, that's good control command t making this one bigger that's good so you should match the perspective so this perspective is perfect for that or uh, i'll down the opacity that's fine and now i'll mask this one because of i want to uh, place or blend these edges properly after that going to the brush options from here i'll take the soft brush bigger okay then you can just brush over there it will help you out to brush properly and it will help you out to blend properly okay that's good when you are done after that so i'll make this one little bit of fill down okay not too much that's fine okay now time to add some spark over there how to add that in this avian dart i'll find out the spark sp spark you'll find out lots of spark over there i'll find or i'll take this spark copying this one and control command v control command t making this one bigger that's it and then going to the upside okay taking this one upside and blending mode into the screen extra depth already added over there you can make this one motion blur so going to the filter and going to the blur options and motion blur so motion blur like uh, angle will be like this okay that's fine blur should be like this and hit okay okay done now i'll add title before that i'll make this one in a group and making this one bg bg for the background so it will help you out to edit in future or if you want to change up any sort of portion you can do when you are doing the group over there it will help you out oh, and making this one into the marking like that okay now text part i'll give the text name is fire so taking the horizontal text and using the text font like speedy type font okay fine high sweep font is for this project and f i r e fire that's good and press ctrl or command t making this one a little bit of bigger that's good and now time to add some texture right press over there blending options from here going to the texture portion okay here are lots of texture but i suggest you to use this texture so that's good and then hit ok that's fine and now i'll go to the file and place embedded already downloaded some uh, movie awards which is really uh, helpful for this project so some over there okay that's fine and i'll 
provide here now when it will just releasing so going to the text again and i'll provide the 30 june 2023 that's it and placing over there that's fine and press ctrl command a proper placing in the middle and i'll add another texture over there going to the texture over there and hit ok that's good and in this portion i'll add uh, the drop shadow so going to the drop shadow and adding the drop shadow add just the drop shadow like this okay and the multiply options and making the depth opacity like that so our 80 percent work is done and you can add some uh, cast and preview or the footer of the movie i'm using here the demo like that so placing in the middle of that that's fine here three things uh, one two and this i'll make a little bit of upside okay that's fine and this one okay that's fine and upper side i'll use the character or like uh, actor actress name so go in that's fine press ctrl or command t you can make this one smaller like this and ctrl or command a alignment into the middle of the artwork so save this project into your directory where you want to save over there so giving the name movie poster and then hit ok and this portion i'll provide the name like uh, text and everything so in one group text that's fine so our two layers one is bg and another was is the texture you can merge them or you can make this one smart object or you can go to the color lookup options to add some like uh, filters over there so let's find out some filters like uh, foggy night no uh, horror blue yeah that's fine and now i'll make this one into the down opacity so i suggest you to use into the bg so over there because of when i'm using this filter upper side of the layer of the text it will affect in a text over there so i don't want to use like that hope that it will be done so the little bit of alignment and placement and saving this project and saving this into the jpeg format and done so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notification until the next video asmr signing out today Stay safe, stay healthy and bye-bye.